Well, hello. Hello there. Hi. How's it going? I hope that you're doing okay. We are here on a brand... Hello, cow. We are here on a brand new multiplayer survival world. This is the One More Block server. Ugh, there we go. Let's uh, let's get into the uh, let's get into the screen. We'll do some running around here. So, let me tell you what's going on. I know I said that there would be no more YouTube exclusive video content. Hey, there's a village over there. That's cool. Well, I may have told a little bit of a sneaky fib on that one. You see, I was invited to join this server, a streamer full of a server, <laughs> get your words in order, a stream, a server full of streamers. There goes Quack right there. Here he's, he's off. Hey, <laughs> excited. He's got a bed. Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a server full of streamers and YouTubers. Oh, I, I have nothing to give you back. Look at his cape. He's got a duck on his cape. <laughs> so yeah, it's a server full of streamers and YouTubers and all that sort of stuff. And I have been very, very fortunate to be asked to join in. And so that is what we are doing. This is the first day here on the server. It has launched today. Let's plant some of these back so that someone else can get use of those as well. We don't want to we don't want to steal everything right away. So this is the first day. The server launched literally 10 minutes ago. And as you can see, so far, there's four of us right here. There's myself, there's Quack, there's Sid, and Grimes are all here. And Snowy has just arrived as well. Perfect timing, as always. It's almost as if he heard. Uh, oh, and left and came back. <laughs> so we're going to do a Let's Play here on the world. Because... Well, I was thinking about this, you see, ordinarily I was just going to stream here on the server. And then I thought, actually, I really, really enjoy making multiplayer Minecraft Let's Plays. You know, we had so much fun on Netrock. And whilst Netrock is on hiatus, owing to all sorts of circumstances that the members are having to deal with, with regards to... Covid and all that nonsense. I figured, well, we have the opportunity. Let's start afresh here, out on a brand new world in a brand new community, and see what the world has in store for us. There's an egg. We'll take that for our food supplies later. We are going to be doing a lot of streaming for all the grindy stuff on the server, but also, poor horsey. We're also going to be condensing little projects and bits and pieces down into an actual let's play. Oh no, J Stark, first death! Oh no! By a berry bush, no less! Oh, Stark! Oh no! F to pay respects! How sad! <laughs> oh, shouldn't laugh. How sad. <laughs> and so the war begins. <laughs> Do you know what? Even for YouTube as well, you guys get the exclusive here on YouTube watching the Let's Plays because you, you, right there, that's you I'm talking to, you get the secret bonus content. You get the best of both worlds. You get stuff recorded specifically for you, for YouTube as well as extra live stream footage as well. That's a very, very fortunate place to be if I do. Oh, okay, you, I thought you could crouch through these. Apparently you can't. We don't want to go the same way as Stark. This first one is going to be all about trying to figure out uh, not even a base necessarily. I think this is where everybody's going to spawn in, this small little plains area here. So I reckon maybe we should do the community a favour. Maybe we should begin building a kind of settlement, a sort of safe space to hide out when you first spawn into the world. I think that'd be good, like a little hotel kind of thing. Uh, whilst I get to work on that, uh, maybe uh, I can include some live stream footage or some additional footage at the very least from the meetup that we are going to have later on. So, 
I just I'm, want I'm to feeling say, like this is a message. It's very nice to see <laughs> this amount of people here for season two when season one was left off where it was left off. And honestly, <laughs> seeing the amount of, of, of people and personalities and voices here around this campfire, honestly, it makes me so excited for what the future of one more block holds. I can't wait to work with everyone here, honestly. Yeah, I agree. To a door. Yo, I was slain by. T <laughs> 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 is the keeper of the keeper of darkness. Is that not no. keeping with that Grimes? That's no, right. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. Deep Fruit is my number one in command now. Spooky, you're supposed to be helping me. You dumb. I want your head. No. Can I? Uh, can I, I, I say will, something? I will build Hogwarts. Yeah, yeah. Whoever yeah. wants to say something, go to the fire I pit. Grimes, thank you very much for bringing us all together and uh, allowing us and giving us the opportunity to yeah to build this community. Thank you so much. I, I I am definitely lost. <laughs> <That's a mood. laughs> everyone leaves and he finally gets here like, oh, wait, hello guys. I, I have no food. Okay. Three, two, one, go! Go! Logic, I better get my stuff back. Oh, uh, what's that, bro? I really your so. throne. All right, we're back in the room. I hope that was interesting. I hope that we discussed some fun stuff and had a lot of fun later on today. <laughs> I've got my tenses so confused. Anyway, back in the present time, which in the timeline of things is the present for me, but will be the past in relation to the meeting that we had. I'm going to stop. <laughs> I found a little cave that we're going to go into to get our resources, and guess what I spy? There seems to be a mineshaft down here already. This is a really nice little space. I've got some coal over there. There's some iron as well. That's exactly what we need. We're going to get on down to Funky Town, gather ourselves some resources, and once we're set up ourselves, we can then begin to work on the glorious building that will make our fellow blockheads safe and sound upon spawning in. Unless the other guys are already working on that up on the top layer, which is entirely possible as well, in which case we'll find something else to do. Oh no! Oh Oh my god, quack! <laughs> Poor quack! Go on, Jay Stark, save us all! Quack, what's going on? I'm trying, Quack. Where's a bed? Hey, we got him. Come on, my friend. I'm in serious need of assistance. I have taken the executive decision. I think that cave is too dangerous for us right now. And as a result, we shall not continue to throw ourselves against the wall any further. I've got myself a little shack that I'm beginning to work on right here. We have ourselves a wandering trader. His trades, not the best. Not the best. Wandering trader definitely needs a little bit of a buff. Growing my crops right here to give us a little bit of a head start. We, uh, we've captured the trader's llamas and we are farming up some cows as well. Can I... Are you guys ready? I think they are, look. There we go. We're ready for some more cows. That's good. I need some leather. And we are also trying to hatch another chicken. Oh, not this time. If we find another chicken, then maybe we'll just bring him on over instead. But yeah, this is going to be our little shack. This is the cave of destruction down here. And even though I said we were going to leave it behind, we have begun to make some progress. I managed to get some iron back to the surface, which means we now have a chest plate. We've got iron tools. And so we stand a little bit more of a greater chance of survival down there, which is a huge relief. But before we carry on with that, we're going to need to finish this shack right here. 
We've got a classic tack frontage just right here, and I haven't put a floor in yet. The next plan is going to be to get a floor in place, do the interior design, and then once we have the interior design, we're going to work on the outside. Alrighty, boys and girls, welcome back. You join me... Oh, uh, this is going to... Uh, this isn't going <laughs> to... This isn't going to work. You join me on an adventure. I have left the spawn area behind for just a little while because you see I may have gotten a little bit carried away with our starter shack for us to hide in whilst we do our caving in the hole of nightmares and the problem is that I can't work on the roof of my shack very easily because I can't get up to it all that well. It's a bit awkward and finicky. It's tough to get to. So I have decided we are going to go this way because ah ha ha there is a jungle and I see it over there. We're going to try and grab some bamboo. I need to farm bamboo because I want scaffolding and I'm not seeing any bamboo. We need bamboo and we need string. String isn't a problem. String I've got coming out of my ears because the hole of horribleness that we are doing our caving in, well, that's got spider spawners and spider webs and all sorts of horrible stuff down there. So string is absolutely no drama. Ah ha ha! I see the bamboo. I'm going to take some melons as well because I haven't actually got any melon seeds either. Like I say, we're on an adventure. We're going to be recovering just a couple of bits and pieces to help us on our way. Maybe some cocoa beans. If we could find some cocoa beans around here, that'd be great too. But the bamboo is what we are here for, first and foremost. Brilliant. Naha, cocoa beans also. Thank you very much. I thought we'd also try and get some jungle saplings as well for jungle wood. The problem is all the canopy is always connected. This tree, on the other hand, stands tall and proud, completely undisturbed by any others. So maybe we'll use this one to try and get our hands on some jungle saplings. I'm gonna take the rest of this bamboo as well. Now you know me. You know I like to try and be the professional Minecrafter. Well, guess who forgot to check where Spawn was before he left? That'll be this guy right here. And now I drown him. I've made it. Don't worry about me. I was born to navigate this guy right here. He can navigate through any situation. Now, I'm going to make some scaffolding. I'm not going to show you the shack just yet. Once I'm finished, oh, are you going to see it? It's right behind me. Do you want to see it? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Well, guys, I think I've got it finished. Are you ready to see this? I hope you're ready. Check this out. What do we think, guys? Get a load of this. I am super happy with how this turned out. Just get a load of the garden we've got down there. A couple of fish in the pond looking wonderful. Yes, it is a little bit overgrown around the outside, but that's fine. It's all adding to the detail. And I think that this place looks absolutely wonderful. If I do say so myself, which I do, because I did. So let's run through the features of the garden. We've got this big dark oak tree, keeping the garden nice and covered in the cold months so that the snow doesn't kill everything, and keeping the garden beautifully shaded and cool in the hot summer months. We've got a decorative pond, which a pair of salmon currently call their home. Look at them having a whale of a time. And a cute little water feature just towards the back there as well. But enough of the outside. Let's see what's going on on the inside. So we run up the garden path and into the house. And what have we got? Well, a little bit of storage space, some decorative bookshelves. You know I like to bring the outside in, so I've done exactly that. We've got trees and bushes everywhere. There's plants, small little kitchen space right here, which I think looks wonderful, nice and subtle. We've got a couch which is being diligently guarded by our pet pups right here. You're doing a wonderful job, boys. Keep at it. Some more shelving and storage spaces right there. And if you're eagerly eyed, you may notice 
We have stairs which lead us to the second floor. Some extra storage right there. A little window for us to peer out of should we need to. We've got the shopping district just peeping in through the gaps in the trees right there. As we ascend the next set of stairs, there is another window looking out over what will become the shopping district in the end. And lastly, around the corner is our cosy little bedroom with a bit more storage and a beautiful place to sleep. I can imagine this is going to be really warm in winter if Minecraft had seasons, of course. And let's not forget this little balcony as well that gives us a small view over the living room down below. Look at them. They're so well behaved. Now, I know what you're thinking. It looks good. But can it look better? And I think it can. I think that's pretty. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? Oh, I love the way this house looks so much. <laughs> and shaders make it look so cozy and wonderful as well. I absolutely love it. However, we have unfortunately reached the end of this, the very first episode we have made here on the One More Block server. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then please do leave a like down below and maybe leave a comment as well, letting me know what you thought and what you'd like to see us get up to here on the server. If you haven't done so already, maybe you'd consider hitting the subscribe button as well. And if you want to catch up with all the live stream stuff we're going to be doing on the server, be sure to give us a follow over on twitch.tv slash productions to stay up to date with all of the hijinks that we get up to. Other than that, I'm going to tuck myself into bed here in my brand new bedroom and I will see you all next time. Take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Bye bye. I don't know what y'all think, but I think that's pretty.